Hey everyone, it's Alina here. Welcome back to A Daily Deal. Now, those who've been following me, you know this daily deal has been uh, in the works for at least three weeks. I know I've I've teased and I teased and I held off and held off. Um, you guys be glad that I did. Um, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Selena. Um, I have um, this, obviously, this YouTube channel and an Etsy shop. Um, all my information's down below. I have a Facebook group and other ways you can follow. If you like this type of content, you can go ahead and thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Um, I hope you like this. Um, this is something I enjoy doing. I love doing this for those who follow, um, for those who like to do crafty items. And so this kit has been very exciting. Now, I haven't done a Traveler's Junk Journal kit for about a good year now. So I've been accumulating some really, really cool stuff. Um, Oh, I had, a, I had a click pause. I know you guys didn't know that, but um, we, have, we have tropical storms going on today and yesterday. And uh, my cat, one of many cats I have, she starts wailing on the top of her lungs when she's scared. So I'm going to quickly do this video, show you guys what I got going, and then uh, uh, take care of my, my cats. They do not like storms. So, okay, so this kit, back to the kit, which I'm so excited. Um, what you see is pretty much what you're getting um, in the kit. Obviously not the money, but um, I'll go over everything that you'll see what you get in the kit. Um, the best part about this kit is that you get to choose your journal cover. And so what I had done was I had uh, accumulated, um, oh, Reader's Digest books uh, from the 1950s, 1960s, and I think the 1970s. There might be some 80s in here. But um, first come, first serve, when you go to listing down below, you click on that link um, in the Etsy shop, you're going to see all the listings. I made them individual um, so that no one gets confused, but you'll see the cover on the listing with the kit. And that's the, that's the cover and kit you will get kind of thing. I'm using this display on the listing as a backdrop, um, but your kit, when you do get your kit, it's pretty much everything you see here, but a lot of these items are vintage, so every slide's gonna be different, but the idea is that you're gonna get a slide. You're gonna get bus tickets, uh, British bus tickets, and all the cards you see. I'm gonna go over everything and show you what exactly you're getting, um, but pretty much the pack kit is exactly pretty much the same, but just different uh, types of maps and, and pages and such, but it's just really cool. But like I said, what I'm really excited about is that the junk journal covers, what you see is what you're getting in your kit. Look at that one. This one I would have to say is my favorite. Um, so what I did is I took the Reader's Digest book. I had gutted it. And everyone who gets one of the kits will have the front and the spine as well. And then I also included, because when you, a lot of people who do your junk journals, um, I know that you want to be able to piece pieces together. And um, so I had included um, in each junk journal, um, the uh, junk journal, each Reader's Digest, um, there's no on any of the fronts or anything was ever written on. So every, every book cover will have its original um, front insides of the pages, which I think is really cool. I know I'm saying it wrong, but the first front page and the back page that matches the inside of the books. And then I also included whatever photos I found in each book in with it. So you have some pages that you can also add into the kit as well. So here's this one, which I thought was so cool. So I'm going to show you the covers really, really quick so you can see which covers you get. Like I said, first come, first serve. When you see that cover in that listing, that's the one you're getting. Um, so there's that one. There's this one here. It's the cute deer. Deer one. Is that cute? These are like highly hard to find. It's like such collectibles. A lot of people wouldn't even rip the book. Um, sorry, upside down. Um, I have them already put together in their little plastic sleeves. All in beautiful mint condition. I made sure I got picked the best of the best. Look how pretty that is. I think this is going to be a long video because I want to be able to show you guys all the beautiful book covers that you get to choose. Isn't that just so beautiful? Just reminds me of like a Japanese garden kind of thing. Just beautiful. The butterflies, that's also beautiful. So just delicate, elegant. I can think totally Christmas for that. This reminds me of Paris, but if you really zoom in, um, you can see it's, it's almost like it's a guy and a donkey and I think it's more tropical or, anyways, just beautiful, right? 
there's so many guys so you won't go wrong so while I'm showing you the covers the kits gonna be $34 um, it's free shipping United States when you spend $35 or more so you're pretty much close to hitting the $35 marker so run over and grab something else I, I was hoping when I release this kit I'll have a bunch of vintage ephemera in the shop but you know I I just haven't had time I'll just have to when I show you guys the next um, those who've been watching me and that's so elegant it's like almost like a like a moss tree to me. Um, those who've been watching where I explored, uh, my parents had found a bunch of uh, journals and stuff like that from all over the world, from someone's travels. That kit's after this kit, guys. I was going to combine them, but it was just so much work. I'd rather, um, what I thought about doing was um, I took apart all those journals, but I kept them intact. So it's like those who were watching um, about that haul earlier, with these aside, I have a whole nother thing of them, guys. There's 32 kits, so there's plenty to go around. Okay, let me get the other binder here. Um, so what I did is, like, when she went to Paris, um, I kept the albums together. I took the album cover and dumped that. And I didn't take nothing out of those uh, pages that she had in the plastic pages, like, sleeves. And I was just going to sell them just intact because in every book uh, journal page, she writes where she went, like every postcard, every ticket, everything. She tells you it's almost like a story in each one of her journal books. So, um, and like I said, she's been all over the world. I had like over 50 journal uh, packs, um, just crazy. So that would be that kit after this. And my goal, which I'm going to show you with this currency here, I have an idea for the gift of purchase for that one. Um, is um, it was filled with a bunch of currency. Isn't that gorgeous? And I was like, how am I going to be able to share this amongst all those people in those kits? And um, so what I was going to have done is for that next kit after this one is I have my daughter create a digital download and I'll show you the currency. And that would be the gift of purchase where you guys can all have part of that currency. And I counted the currency and looked up for the years and everything. It was well over $1,500. Crazy, right? All because I got those covers, journals. Aren't they pretty? So I think I've got a few more. And also with that kit, I'll have also Reader's Digest junk journal covers that go with every one as well. So I held back some of the nice ones to, to, uh, to include in that kit. So it's kind of pretty much everyone gets a bunch of something, you know, and choices for those who are waiting for that kit. But isn't that just gorgeous? Ah. Oh. I want to keep it, <laughs> but you know, I, uh, it's meant for somebody else. First come, first serve. All right. So before I jump into the junk journal kit, but this is for the next one. So here's the currency that was in all those albums and, uh, it's just crazy from all over the world. It just amazes me. I mean, and that's, so I looked it all up and it's an estimate of what I found it was around $1,500 for everything. Just crazy, right? That one there is worth a, just 10. But um, yeah, so what I thought I was going to do is I was going to have my daughter, she knows how to do a digital. And there's all the little coins and stuff. A lot of Queen Elizabeth II. Um, I'm going to have her do digitals of the fronts and the backs and of the coins as well and make them into a digital for the next kit. But uh, I think that's a good idea, right? You know, comment down below what you guys think um, for that one. So back to the kit today. The gift of the purchase is this passport book. Um, these passport books are so adorable. And like I said, free shipping when you spend $35 or more. Um, so I'm going to dig on in. I don't know where to begin. <laughs> There's so much stuff. Um, those who watched an earlier video, Julie uh, Jules Journals, she is the one who created these beautiful envelopes that I purchased from her shop. Um, every kit's going to get one of these. Aren't they just adorable? I love this one. Oh, I live in Florida, so obviously I love that one. <laughs> and uh, so just gorgeous. Every kit's going to get one of those. Here's the passport book. Every kit's going to get a vintage key. And obviously one of those tags. And I, I was pretty much not paper clips. There won't be any paper clips in this, this journal kit um, at all. I just did that just for a theme to show you guys. Um, each kit will have some vintage photos. This is just one of them, and this one's just the ship. I just thought it was adorable. Here's the passport book. I've had these in past junk journal kits uh, for travelers, but look at all the pages. You can either put that in a pocket, 
um, in your journal or what have you. I use these, uh, my daughter and I, we have these. Um, we go to national and state parks and we have them stamp. Every time we go to one, they stamp the stamp in there for you. They're really cool too. Um, when you guys do get the kit, those who seen earlier videos, um, I had taken a vanilla envelope. I had asked you guys a few times, what should I do to add to this? And I decided not to add nothing. Um, I had sewn on a map on the manila envelope here, and this is what the whole entire kit you're getting is going to be inside. Now, while I'm showing you this kit, um, see how the stitch work is on the corners, but um, what's really cool about this, this manila envelope is also it has like pockets. So I thought this would be a great um, envelope. So if you have ephemera and stuff for your um, traveler stuff that you have for your crafty, you could just separate it in this little envelope and obviously put it into your, your desk or your filing system. And you know that's everything for travelers. I even thought would be really cool is that you can maybe create this into a, a large journal, like an ephemera journal or a travel journal um, for your travels because included in each, each kit, I had put, I had found these vintage brass um, findings. Um, I know, I don't remember the names of what they're called, but I do know that you put them into the corners of whatever folder you're doing and then you open up the prongs. Um, I have not worked with these since I was a child, but they're pretty long. I think they're like three inches. Imagine you could cut them down if you really wanted to, um, but I thought maybe you can, someone can create something for that itself. Either way, at least got you started. Um, they're all vintage maps that I sewn on to each one. But I'm going to open him up like this. At least we can get this started. Woo, you guys hear that thunder? We've had the craziest tropical storms here. Oh my goodness. It's been really crazy. So my theme for this uh, kit, for those who are watching as I was creating it, was uh, trains, planes, automobiles kind of thing, um, boats. So I kind of took a paper clip and took off sections to show you an idea. Would you guys see that little ephemera pack here? Oh my gosh, this is really cool too. So much I want to show you. All right, so this one is like boat and ships. And every kit is going to have this, this uh, playing card. I'm going to show you the other playing cards really quick. Every kit is going to have a plane playing card, which is so cool, right? Every kit is going to have a train, this exact train uh, playing card. I'm hoping we don't lose our internet, guys, as I'm doing this video. I don't want to do two videos. Every kit is going to have this playing card as well. It's like currency, and it's also like some watches. Every kit's going to have this one, too. Isn't that beautiful? And every kit's going to have, oh, yep, this playing card right here. If you can see the different shells and stuff like that. All right, let's put this in reverse. Ooh, and the winds last night for the storm. Oh, my goodness. It was, it was like the trees were going sideways. It was crazy, really crazy. So I better speed eat this up. If you guys are interested in the kit, down below is that link. You want to grab them right away because um, those covers are first come, first serve. You get to choose your cover. So grab that. Um, like I said, free shipping if you spend over 35 so they'll add something other little to your cart. All right, so cool, right? All right, I'm going to put the stuff I show you on this side. Every kit's going to have a, a vintage infirmary paper like this where it's going to have vintage stamps on it. This one here is obviously, I think it's airmail, and it was like a piece came off, which I think you guys either cut these off and use them or use this as a paper tag, a pocket, what have you. So cool. Again, I found this really cool book on old vintage boats and ships, and it had everything from like the keys. So every, every kid's going to have cool pages like this um, from different steamboats, boats from all over the world. It was so cool. It was black and white, but I thought, geez, it's fun putting some, look at the old tickets. Um, uh, some of that into your kits. Every kit's going to have a vintage slide. In this case, this one here, like those who've been watching as I created this kit, this one is an airplane. I don't know if you can see it. There's so many different kinds. It was hard to get everyone the same thing. So maybe the slide would be kind of a surprise. Isn't that cool? Again, like I said, every kit's going to have a plain card. And look at the other side. I think each one has a different backside as well. They were, they were like travel cards from all over. Oh, this is a fun one. So every kit is going to have an actual a first date of issue airmail envelope. Airmail envelopes, they usually go for like a buck a piece these days. The vintage ones, that is, not the new ones. So each one, it's open at the top. So I figured it'd be great for a pocket or what have you, um, or turn it into whatever project you're going to be doing. But they are 1960s. 
and that's so cool every kit will have one every kit oh my goodness that's right this is flight so this whole section is all about flights my parents are my go-to people who find stuff all over at a bunch of state cells so a lot of times i'm working in the house in uh, the shop my parents are doing like the footwork so my parents came across oh my gosh just wait all these different flight maps and records there was an old military person who lord forbid passed away but he was a pilot and so look at these so each kit is going to get two and it's already folded like this so it'd be perfect for a page or what have you look how cool is that so i think these are like 1940s or 1950s they are not fragile they do not they're not brittle so you will have flight papers and that's so cool i was hoping to have these listed in the shop but if you are interested just go ahead and message me um, and I'm going to hurry up and try to get that listing in the shop for this. Just these flight records that you can get. Um, I just ran out of time. Next time, maybe for the next kit, guys, um, I can get that up and running. I just ran out of time. We'll have it. Also, uh, these really cool also flight records here. Here it is. I wonder if there's the book. i show you guys the book. Um, I don't have it with me. Same thing here. Look at these. These are different like flight landing locations is what this was like what's runway one runway two this one here is santa fe county um but um, airport diagrams so each one has like an airport diagram of how and where they land kind of thing so cool and what's this oh yes this is train this should have been in the train section i'll show that to you in a minute i guess i can show it to you now so the train section i'll bring over here in a second my parents my dad um he was uh we used to work for the railroad and um up north Oop, here's that rain please stay here Wi-Fi <laughs> um, and so these are uh, railroad records um, for different places that they would go and I'm trying to think what year I think it was like 1950 um, I think 1950 or night this one's 1970 between 1950 and 1970s so I put these records in there those who know uh, trains and uh, planes records are highly collectible and so I made sure you guys got some of those. I also like to have those in the shop as well. I just have mad time. Each kit is going to have British bus tickets. You're going to have a set of three. And usually British bus tickets, um, I, I kept them in one length. You cut them like that. They're like little squares. So you really have really six tickets um, all in all. And again, like I said, you get that playing card. Sorry if I sound rushed. I'm just so worried my Wi-Fi is going to turn off. Oh, this is cool. This was an old train book. These are already folded. Uh, which doesn't really matter, right? Because either way, you can do them as a page or cut them out. But you're going to get amazing um, pages of trains. And those trains from all over the world and the years they made it and train tickets and stuff like that are also, again, black and white. But I love the fact that you have some of that in your project. Isn't that cool? Okay, what's this one? This is maps. Oh, yeah, that's right. Again, you get that really cool playing card, like I said. When I'm making you too dizzy, guys. Oh, you guys hear that rain? I have a metal roof, or what do you call it? Is it a metal roof? I always want to say tin, but it's a metal, metal roof. So when it rains, um, you can really hear. Every kit's going to have a map page like this. You can see here. You can just put it in your, your, your book, cut it to size, what have you. But um, it's different maps. I don't know what those for. It was a train, train maps. So I guess I could have put that into a uh, train section. Each kit is going to have two rather large maps, pages. Look at this one. Wait, you guys see this one? Is this the big one? Yeah. Isn't that crazy cool? All right, on to this. This is just a variety of different uh, vintage papers um, that you can use for your pages in your journals. Sorry, right, guys. You got it right in your face. Oh, that rain. Rain, rain, go away. So it looks like here, on um, in this one here, I have vintage typewriter papers. Uh, ledger paper. Here we go. There's another one. I think it was two pages each. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. So on here, I had wanted to show you guys how I, I had sewn on some old um, border of upholstery that I had which I'll have a piece of upholstery trim in there for you guys to do that as you want as well. But I want to show you an idea what you can do. But um, I had this old mechanic book, which was so cool. And I had put in there one, two, three pages in each journal uh, kit. But look at this. I think it was like 1950s. It was like a man's how-to kind of book. 
but the pages were so cool. And I wanted to give you an idea what you can do. So this came from the same book. <laughs> How cool. Look at this. I think it was four pages all together, guys. It was so cool. Four or five, I guess. It was a nice size book. Okay. So then, obviously, we have uh, different Norman Rockwell book pages that would be in there as well. I just think you can't go wrong with Norman Rockwell, right? So I put him in there. Um, this was at the end of the map, guys, those large maps. I was going to dump them in the garbage cans, but I thought, oh, my gosh, they are really rather cool. Um, they're like the, the index of that, but look how cool it was. It was just two large pages of that, and I figured you guys can use that and somehow layering tags. All right, I put in there one of those manila envelopes, guys. Can't go wrong with that. I've seen you guys make journal journals with them. Um, I thought that was cool. All right, and then some more pages. Each kit is going to have vintage uh, postcards. I think there's two or three. I mean, I think there's two or three. There's more in here. But here's one. I made sure they're crazy old. They're not newer with a little clear sheen to them. They are all like the early, uh, late 1800s, early 1900s. So there's that. There's that playing card every kit will get. Um, this came from a music book. Oh gosh, I wish I had the book on me. It was just rather cool. It has pretty pages and music pages on there. And last but not least, on um, the book pages is ephemera that can be used in your journal. So here's some more ledger papers, some graph paper. Oh yes, and then that fabric paper. It's really thick, cardstock style. Okay. Oh, yes, that's right. And each kit um, will have. There's this game where uh, I forgot the name of. I wish I had the cards with me. It's a playing game card where you have to ask the people, "What do you see in this picture, and what do you think it is?" Well, it looks very confusing, right? But when you turn it over, it's actually a banknote um, of the obviously Queen Elizabeth there. But there's a bunch of them in your guys's kit. I think one or two, uh, which I thought was perfect for travel. Okay, so again, that is packed. Of course, we did this already, right? We did that. We did this. All right, for the mini part of it, and I see you guys get the book cover. Um, you will get three definition cards, uh, which are really, really cool. They will be Japanese. Here, I put the names down for me to remember. Japanese, Italian, and German. I figured, why not try something new, right? Um, they're kind of a different kind of definition cards to find. This one says book, and that's in Japanese. Um, I'm not sure which one is uh, German or Italian, <laughs> but there they are. I, th I think that's German right there. But that's German. <laughs> Either way, I figure perfect for traveling, right, guys? Um, some coin um, holders, like when you do your currency. I thought I've seen people do tags with them. I've seen them do all kinds of different things. Each kit will have three of those. These are the vintage ones. These are not newer. Okay, here we are. Cool, um, those wooden pieces for, I forgot what game, guys. But I see when you guys put them on your journal, they're tiny, they're wooden, and each kit will get two of them. Again, I'm having a, a blonde moment on thinking where they come from. I hear that rain and I'm concerned. Um, each kit's going to have one, two, three, I forgot how many guys I'm going to count though. Four, five, looks like we have six stamps will be in each kit, which is really cool. I did them all travel themed, as you can see here. I made sure that each one either had a boat or a plane in it. Um, these are old uh, uh, B&W, we call those, uh, tobacco car uh, tickets where you would, I know, tobacco, but they're really cool. Um, they're old and they're in there too. This is a set of two. I think they're blue and there's orange. And there's this old playing card game and there's all kinds of travel themed cards and this one happens to have a ship okay each kit is going to have a piece of old vintage burlap not new um, i made sure it was a nice good piece in case you want to layer a collage i found this a uh, really stiff muslin type fabric i don't know what that's called it reminds me of gauze but it's not um, i thought that would be great for layering uh, doing your tags putting over things and collaging and then jute i mean you guys have a big amount of jute at least i think it's a yard or so um, and each, I figured that would be great for travel, right? Um, each kit, oh, this is going to be fun. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Okay. Each kit will have one, two, three, four 
uh, first day of issue cards. So pretty much they were like when you went to get a uh, vintage stamp. <laughs> you guys hear that lightning? Sorry guys, I'm not a huge fan of storms. But um, first date of issue cards. So pretty much when new stamps and things come out, people will go, th go to the post office and they'll take the first date of issue envelope um, for those who collect stamps and have it stamped for that time. So I made sure that they were all travel themed. Aren't they cool? Uh, I know there's one here coming up that you all kids will have. I don't know. I don't see it right now. But they'll be all travel themed. Aren't they cool? And all crazy old. So um, each kit's going to have a vintage um, 1960s uh, envelope like this where it has an opening like this. I've seen a lot where you guys have done different tags and pockets and things with these. Um, I made sure everyone had like a vintage one of this with the vintage stamps on it for you. Just like this. It's this size. Some are a little bit longer um, in each kit. Okay, what is that other? Haha, here we are. This here. Each kit's going to have two of these. These are vintage Boy Scout 1970s uh, first state of issue envelopes. And it's not United States. It is, what country was this? Um, I just guess I should have done this research before. It's another country. It's all I know. Um, and uh, it's a solid card. And I think you get one as an envelope. Look at that. And people collect these. I, who knows? Maybe this is collectible now. I don't know. But each kit will have two. And I just thought they were really cool. Aren't they? All right. Oh, boy. Travel stuff. Tickets. Okay. We are, we're getting somewhere. Okay. So this here is travel pages um, of Dublin. D Dublin. D-U-B-L-I-N. Dublin. Right, guys? Um, index card. Let's see here. Okay. Time saver stamps. Okay. Each kit is going to have a bunch on paper and off paper. What's cool about these time saver stamp pages I think each kid's going to have a, like one, two, three full book pages of them. Um, I try to give you guys a variety per pack. What I love about this is a lot of them, they peel right off. Ew, right? Wash your hands afterwards because people probably lick these and put them on there. But look how many, for those who like to get time saver stamps online, you just take that off slowly and look at all these stamps you guys get. You guys get a ton of stamps in this. That there is like a savings in itself. And then you got those cool pages afterwards. Look at, and it's a lot of them are two-sided. Look at, that's a lot of stamps. So you get a whole bunch of stamps. And if I had extra pages like this, I put them in there. Because look at, I thought, what a cool book page, right? So if you have some, have them, some don't. Some have like different advertisement cards. Each kit will get one of the a CD or DVD we use say uh, cover for those who like to do shakers and things like that. Um, we got receipt pages, um, travel, like different pages, uh, words to say from French to English kind of thing, um, more, more travel. Uh, this is German, how to write German. And uh, this here from French to English dictionary pages, little tiny dictionary pages, French. Um, here are those tiny book pages. Same thing here. Another tinier, see there's different sizes, the French uh, dictionary pages from little dictionaries. I thought, how cute would that be? Like I said, there's two or three in each. I left them whole in case you guys want to take them apart and make them as full pages into your journals or little tags or something. And a bunch of these index card guys. There's all kinds. I made sure they're all different, like lines. Some have words, some are blank. All right, do you guys have it run on over there? There's a bunch of stuff in this kit. And again, you get to choose your cover. Um, I hope you guys like it. I'm, I'm glad I got this video before the Wi-Fi left. If you have any questions down below, is just comment or, you know, contact me in the shop. Um, I'm looking forward to not only this kit release being done, but wait till you guys see the next Traveler's one. It's really cool, too, in itself. Again, thank you guys for being patient since it took me much longer to create this pack. Um, and um, it's been fun. I put a lot of love into these. Um, you guys have a great Sunday. I am off to go get myself on that paddleboard while I can. Obviously not today. Because this, this is release is a different day. But I'm um, hoping the day this releases that um, it's sunny and I can go out and enjoy the sun. On a, obviously not a stormy day like today. All right, guys. You guys have a good one. I'm glad to get this video out there for you guys and the kits ready. Have a good one, guys. Bye.